Welcome to Queen the Greatest, and this week we celebrate Queen roaring into the 1990s with their smash hit album, Innuendo. With Innuendo, somebody suggested that they should play live, and they thought that was a good idea. So we set them up in the uh, casino hall, and the studio itself was linked with 54 mic lines going down, and we could um, record uh, groups in there. They actually created a song live by improvising until it became a song. And that's how it started. While the sun hangs in the sky and the desert has sand. While the waves crash in the sea. We were working abroad again in Mountain Studios. I think Freddie had then decided he actually loved Switzerland and he didn't want the studio to be under the lake, which was where he wanted it before. There's some very good stuff on Innuendo, and it was quite live as well. And a, I think a bigger studio is good for us. You can't be anything you want to be. Just turn yourself into anything you think that you could ever be. There was a feeling of sort of re-exploring our youth almost buried in there somewhere, and it was fun. We were all working really flat out on, on everybody's ideas and not being kind of possessive about things. So there's quite a liberation there. I think we're all throwing in different ideas. There's a lot more teamwork, but people still get very uh, precious about the songs that they feel they started off with. Freddie was singing down there live as well with them, and um, there was absolutely no impression from me that he could have been sick. He was full of beans and singing away. At the beginning of 1991, the Innuendo album and single were released and both entered the UK charts at number one. The new album is great. I think it's the best one for quite a long time. There's nothing in it that I'm embarrassed about. You know, very often you put out an album and you think, oh, but I wish we'd done this, you know. This one I feel quite happy about and I can listen to it without any problem. I like it a lot. Actually, we had some fantastic times. I think we got over our stupid, you know, going out the whole time business, you know. And we were a very close-knit group, like a family, and we would work in the studio until, usually until Freddie got very tired. Empty spaces, what are we living for? Abandoned places. I guess we know the score. I did a complete demo for The Show Must Go On, including that very high part, you know, on with the show. And I said to Freddie, because Freddie always used to say, oh, Brian, you're making me tear my throat to bits again. You know, so I, I, I remember apologising in advance. I said, look, I said, look, I've done it in falsetto. I don't know if it's possible to do it full voice, you know, but obviously that would be great. And he went, oh, for God's sake, you know. And he said, roll the tape, a couple of vodkas, and he went for that line. Um, which is outstanding, you know, to, for him to reach those notes. Um, he's reaching heights he's never done before. He's just finding the energy from somewhere. And the voice on the show must go on is incredible. Uh, I've never heard anybody sing like that in my whole life. And um, he rose to every challenge and seemed to reach heights that he never even reached before. This recording experience, despite the challenges we now know they were facing, proved to be hugely productive, and Innuendo marked the band's 20th anniversary in style, delivering a powerhouse of songwriting and recording in the finest Queen tradition. Singing, we will, we will.